the Total Defence Challenge is the key highlight of the Total Defence Day commemoration activities for this year. 25 teams were tasked to complete a 40 km route across Singapore to raise funds for charities. Let's see how one of the teams performed for the day. Today is 15th February and uh, it's Total Defence Day. We have moved up together with different ages and uh, genders to complete some challenges. Our team consists of two SAF personnel, two students, one male, one female and one uh, senior citizen. The teams will go through eight different checkpoints where they will learn about the five pillars of Total Defence. The first two checkpoints are at the Singapore Discovery Centre. Team 16 breezed through the first checkpoint, which required them to demonstrate their understanding about different aspects of total defence. The answers were located around the permanent exhibits at the centre. The second checkpoint was a little bit more challenging, but fun. The team was tasked to aim at targets in a paintball challenge to get as many points as possible. We need 21 points. I think we did OK. We need 22 points. Now we are in the bus moving to Checkpoint 3 at Civil Defense Academy. At Checkpoint 3, the team was taught how to perform first aid such as learning how to bandage a casualty suffering from arm fractures. The Ante in our team, he did quite well. I think he is a first aid trained. Yeah. In terms of emergency, right, in any like, public area, I think we can use apply this skill to help one another. Checkpoint 4 was probably the most physically demanding checkpoint. Located at Murai Urban Training Facility, where soldiers of the SAF used to train their manoeuvres in urban operations, the team was required to search for fruits, water and fuel in a survival skills test. First up, they had to use maps to navigate around the area and search for water points and fuel points to collect the water and fuel. We are given pails and sponge uh, as our equipment to collect the water from uh, one place to another. But we can also use our own resources, such as we brought our own plastic bags to collect the water. To search for fruits, the team had to split up. Alex went up a six-storey tower to direct his teammates to the location of the fruits using a compass, binoculars and a walkie-talkie. It was a bit challenging because it was quite some time since I did San Topo. Cooperation is more important now because if without cooperation, we wouldn't make it so far. Checkpoint 5 at Kranji Reservoir Park was where the teams were tasked to build a home and defend their home from an opposing team in a game of laser tag. My team and I uh, managed to come up with a home uh, and we were fighting against them, but unfortunately, we lost. This teaches we have to make sure we have the proper technique to go against the enemy. This location has a particular significance attached to it, as it was one of the landing sites for invading Japanese troops back in World War II. Uh, never take things for granted. Uh. If this is your home, you defend it with your 100% effort. Uh, yeah. Checkpoint 6 required the teams to earn money through various means such as investing and going through physical activities to earn money in order to purchase straws to build a structure to hold a golf ball. The team came up with the idea of building a tripod and successfully completed this checkpoint. Through this activity, I understand that economic defence is about building a strong economy so that Singapore will not break down in terms of any war or crisis. Checkpoints 7 and 8 revolves around the theme of this year's Total Defence Day. Will you stand with me? They had to get passers-by to pose for a photograph with the theme and also attempt to unfurl one strip of a giant banner which, when all unfurled, displays the theme of Total Defence 2013. After successfully going through all eight checkpoints, it was a brisk walk all the way to the finishing point. The 25 teams managed to raise about $233,000 altogether and the money was donated to charities supported by the community chest. Previously, from what I know about total defense, right, is about I only know like the existence of the five pillars of total defense, but I don't really know what each of them stands for and what each of them do for Singapore. But after this, like this challenge, I get to understand more and like know how the system in Singapore works better. I get to make new friends and get to know a new whole new team and um, clear different challenges together.